Hello everyone, and welcome to episode two of Crate Expectations. This is our weekly show here with Celiac Sarah from Hollow Table News Network fame, but also of her own YouTube channel fame lately. How are you today, Sarah? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to be talking to such a distinguished and important YouTuber. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. It's not even, not even close. We're getting there. Hey, I, I thought it was just cool. I, I want to say appreciate to my, or state my appreciation to everyone who mm -hmm. went and subbed Sarah's channel. Uh, it was it, after last week, it was really cool, really good reception. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that everyone who hasn't seen that show go still goes to Sarah's channel after this and hits the sub button because the <laughs> second half of this show is actually still going to be on sarah's channel right and i should say i obviously appreciate everyone doing that too i did not expect that so well my you know the people who watch my channel my fans i guess you might say are awesome. the best best mm -hmm. ones out there honestly mm -hmm. in, yeah. in all the land <laughs> So yeah, now I have a I have a tiny fledgling of a channel growing. Yeah, that's with exciting. Some, with some videos. Yeah, and you made a new video. That was exciting too. It was good. I did make a new video. It was super uh, odd. Can I just say how weird it is to only talk to yourself? <laughs> yeah, I, and I <laughs> I feel like this little shade toward me because that's what I do every day. <laughs> I know. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I know. I, like, like what, what does my family think when I, like, they just hear like voices from behind the door and it's just yeah. like, oh, daddy's talking again to himself. Yep. You know, they don't even, I don't even have the excuse of having like a stream up a lot of times, you know, because, because if you're streaming, you're still just kind of talking to yourself in a way. But, right. Yeah. YouTube videos, oh, no excuse. I'm just like, yep. Just going to talk to myself for 20 to 30 minutes today. It's all good. It works. It's all good. So, yeah. uh, what are we talking about today, Sarah? What, what's in the tubes? Okay. So, I mean, current events, we've got skill squish for GAC, which mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get it. Um, and Dad Bod Boba is out there in the wild. He is. Finally. He, he's, and he's wild. He's wild. Um, we're going to do a pack review. We're going to do... You found a roster for us to roast, so... I did. Ooh, what pack are we going to talk about today? Um, we are going to talk about the Crystal Calendar Pack because it's time sensitive. There are only three-ish, two-ish. By, by the time this is up, there'll be two in a little bit days left. Two in a little bit. That's good. That's good. Good time telling. Thanks. It's like it's like I know what I'm doing. Money, money well spent by the Canadian public school system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. So we're, we're doing a <laughs> we're doing a roster of roast uh, on yep. some unknown blighter. Mm -hmm. right, what else? Yeah, and then we're gonna go over a character review, which I arbitrarily picked Nest for some strange reason. Um, and then we've got PVE corner. My least favorite, my least comfortable corner ever. <laughs> I feel like you really did mean favorite, but, uh, and we've got some viewer questions. Well, I, I was going to say favorable. So no, I wasn't going to okay. say favorite, um, but least favorable corner doesn't make much sense. So I switched mid sentence, but mm -hmm. th thanks for drawing attention to it. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. You draw attention to some awesome things, Sarah. Well done. <laughs> so yeah you want to jump into it <laughs> yeah all right let's so let's talk let's talk about skill squish uh, how how are you how are you with skill squish what's what's going on with you because i feel like this actually you you're mentioning it that it impacts you in some way it does so i finished the last season at the top of kyber 2 which apparently i still am at the top of kyber 2 nice um but now, instead of needing 3541, I think it was, to get into Kyber 1, I need 3610. 
and I am sitting at thirty four ninety three. Okay, so uh, for the, for those of us who are more visual, um, yes, I guess break break it down just a little bit more because I like all those numbers are just kind of like floating in my head. Like so, so you right. were you were like one away. I was one away, right? like for getting Kyber one. Yeah, one away from getting Kyber one. Um. And now I'm like a hundred and something. A hundred and something. Another really good specific number brought to you by the Canadian cool school system. <laughs> hey man, I went to journalism school. Um, <laughs> I, even if I win, even if I win all three of my matches this week, which I don't think I will, but even if I do, I don't think I could go, get into Kyber one. And is that okay? So, uh, like, just with basic math. <laughs> so you need to know math to get into Kyber One. Well, I don't know exactly how many points away I am. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> as so we've, as we've established, <laughs> um, it's fine. Okay, that's a lie. I am a hundred and seventeen points away. Oh, that, that seems that seems doable if you win all three. If you win out, you think so? I I think so. I think you gain somewhere around forty every time, at least when you're in the Kyber, the upper Kyber reaches, upper reaches okay. of Kyber. I don't think I will gain. I don't think I will win all three, but we will see. I will try. All right, that's that's some gloom there. It's okay. We'll get we'll work on that. So okay. So how, how does that feel to you, though? Uh, I mean, honestly, like, so so for me, I, obviously, I always want to win everything. I want to keep, you know. Uh, right. But you, you don't care about GAC as much, frankly. Like, I, I know that you need it for crystals, and I know that you have a good, you know, you, you've put in a good showing. You, you're you genuinely trying and working on it, and you're playing well. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you care about getting into Kyber 1? Like, is that important to you on some level? I mean... It's not important in terms of like crystals or like I'm already doing better off in crystals than I was before. Um, nice. I feel like it's more the status of being Kyber one. Okay. So, well, well yeah. Cause Kyber two, I mean, it, it's almost built in. It's like a definition. It's like your second best kind right. of in a way I could see that. I, you know, my alt is in Kyber 2. My, my guess is that I don't make it out of Kyber 2 for a while on my alt, which right. probably don't deserve it, but I want it anyways, because uh, I want it, but... <laughs> That's fair. Um, oh, man. where Where's your alt? I should know this. My alt is in Kyber. Kyber 2. Just lower lower reaches. And, and I'm actually going to be facing a bunch of people with three GLs and I only have one. So um, I'm really, really excited about this week. Should be fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Three GLs um, and, and, uh, and the executor. So fun. Yeah. Hey, but you have executor now, so it's all good. I do. Well, it's, it's, that's one of the fancier things that have happened to that account. So, yeah. Um, okay. But this skill, skill squish thing, does this affect people in Kyber one? If you're already there, does it matter? So I, other I than other than the bottom, I should say. I don't. I don't personally care about it. Like all the people that I was gonna get paired up against before were like mm -hmm. right in the same range as I'm paired up against again. So I think what they're doing, they're trying to make it so that we don't have like this huge separation of skill points, like amongst the players. They want to keep it pretty tight, and so right. uh, you know. I hear people complaining about it, but what we're gonna have to just see if it ends up having any ramifications. But like, like for instance, our buddy Solo Base, my my podcast co-host, he uh, he knew his eight opponents at the end of last week after all the standings were set. He could predict right. all eight, all eight people in his group, including himself, I guess. But uh, those eight didn't change, even after the oh. skill squish. So. You know, some people lost a lot of skill points. Some people didn't lose many at all. It just depends. I think the hardest thing would be to be on the very edge of one of the division levels. Mm -hmm. And suddenly you're like, 
your feet are dangling over a cliff. It's like it's like Wile E. Coyote is chasing the Roadrunner or something, and he's, he goes over the cliff, and he's like, takes a second to look back at, at the ground that he could be standing on. And the, the question is, like, do do the animators allow that allow, allow him to run fast enough to get back onto land? Or mm-hmm. do they just let him plummet? And they let him plummet. Well, uh, you know, probably probably seven eighths of the people will plummet. Probably the person yeah. who can win the mat or the, the group will get to stay where they're at. Right. But yeah. At, at the very least, so so like my alt, for instance, or sorry, for Prevail Man, he was trapped in Bronzium 1 for the mm-hmm. majority of the season. It smashed up against some really tough players, and no one could escape. We didn't have the release valve, the escape valve, to or the escape hatch to get mm-hmm. into, uh, like, Chromium. We couldn't do that until the end of the season. So end of season, we all just, like, exploded into Chromium 3. Uh, that's where, where Prevail Man is. Like, you went from Bronzium 1 to Chromium 3. And mm-hmm. I think that that would be, uh, like, at least I didn't, I'm not at risk now of, maybe, maybe I'll fall into Chromium 4 or whatever. That that could happen. But I'm also not in the situation where I can, where I'm just going to be, like, plummet back into Bronzium 1 and be in that bad situation again. Like, at the very right. least, they won't let me leave Chromium at all. Even if I was in Chromium 5... I couldn't fall back into Bronzium again. I'm I'm at least safe in Chromium for right. the season. So Yeah. Um All right. Uh, Anyways. Ooh. Any other skill squish? Dad bod boba? Dad bod boba time? Why don't we talk about him a little bit? Um so what are your thoughts? Do you have him? I got him. I got him t- yesterday. 2 days ago. Whenever conquest ended. Um, yeah, so he's got, he's not relic because I did not hoard gear. I was, I was bad. Um, it but bad. it's fine. I'm judging you right now. I know. It's fine. Just kidding. I actually don't know what gear he needed. I just clicked until he was relic seven. I just <sighs> had, I'd hoarded so much. So. Oh, yeah, I did not hoard. So he's gear something. I don't know. 10, 11. He's somewhere around there. All right, what Omicrons did you put on him? Um, he has his leader Omicron. Mm-hmm. And then I gave him a special, and I'm kind of regretting that one. I probably should have given him his unique instead. I, I think they're pretty similar, to be honest. I mean, obviously they do different mm-hmm. things, but I think right. their, their total impact, I, th- I, think, I think on paper I prefer right. the, the, the unique, but you're right, you're right about that. But I don't think it's well, going to... Are, are you going to put the unique on as soon as you can? Well, so I had this, like, really awesome time-telling moment, and um, I'm, I'm too Omicron short, the third the third one that he needs. Okay. And I was like, it's fine, because we're in a Galactic Challenge right now. I got to the, the crate that's going to give me two Omicrons, um, and it's going to end before Territory Warlock, so I can just, you know, put the Omicron, and then I realized that Galactic Challenges go for two days, or three days, however long they go for, not one. Um, I don't even know how long they last anymore. They all bleed together. <laughs> and uh, this yeah, time-telling was... fiasco brought to you by the public school, the public education system of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Canada. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna get his third in in a couple of days. I'll just throw it on there because I will have it. Nice. So yeah. I might as well. That's fair. And yeah. One, one thing oh. I really like about Dad Bod Bo, uh, about our shared guild too is right. Like you guys pushed the the red bo- crate. Not not like forced people maybe, but put a lot of pressure on people to get the red crate, mm-hmm. and uh, in order to get Dad Bod Boba. And now I, I love it because we're facing off against a guild that's maybe would normally have an advantage with they more GLs and stuff, but they actually also have a huge deficit in Bobas. And yeah. they, it's going to be a very interesting thing when they hit that uh, Boba wall. Yeah, like we had over, I think it was like 41 people unlock Boba. 
Yeah, that's fantastic. That, that's a really cool thing. And it, to be able to organize that as a guild, I know that some of like the top end competitive guilds got 50 out of 50. And that's that's kind mm-hmm. of to be expected. Like, you, you, they might actually just boot someone who didn't do that, frankly. Uh, right. You know, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see, like, f- for this level of guild, uh, not no shade on the guild at all. It's just, it's not one of the top tier, like, top 10, uh, right. you know, guild. Uh, but, like, for this level of coordination and being able to get that, it's, it's a triumph and it's really cool. I'm excited to see how it pays off. Yeah, I'm excited to see too. I wish I do, I, this is the thing though, it makes me wish that you could see what people used on your defenses in Territory War. Mm, that's true. A lot of times but, you can find out, you can find someone who can kind of help you and they're like, oh, yeah. don't, don't tell my guild master who I am. Like, they like a, vo- <laughs> a voice modulator. They're like, we, we used Commander Luke on you, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he's going to be fun, though. Yeah, I, I don't think he has, nothing screams amazing in GAC on him yet. Right. But we'll see. I'm excited to see. Uh, like, he's a good option. He's he's Relic 7, Bounty Hunter, who works really well with Scoundrels. I'm absolutely right. sure I'll find a use for him, whether it's Desperation or otherwise. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, because we're, we don't want to look at my roster. <laughs> we okay. don't want to look at my Bounty Hunters or my Scoundrels, so it's fine. Yeah, we don't need that judgment here. So, <laughs> let's mm-hmm. let's actually move along here. Let's yeah. let's go to this pack review, shall we? So let's go to the game. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that, hold on, did we just show like it just, just had this little up. lag? I think it showed our uh, our other podcast here. Let's. Uh, it let's... did. There, there's us. There it is. There, we're we're. we're... Hey guys, we're co-hosts for the Wheel of Time podcast, A Dagger for Sight Blander. Go check it out. It's in the links. Uh, it's in the video description. So, yeah. uh, if, if you like it, we talk about the show and the books. Mostly the books right now. In fact, we're recording, or we are we already recorded a podcast episode yeah. earlier tonight. So, all right. Box, all right. Box of Crystals, Sarah. Box of Crystals. Ten bucks. Ten American dollars. Fourteen Canadian dollars. Oh geez. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So you get so, fourteen seventy five crystals for it. Right. Which is decent. It it is more than what you would get for a regular box of crystals. Yeah. That is the same price. Uh, basically, a, a little over a hundred more. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So if you're comparing, just based off the price alone, then yeah, the calendar is better. Yeah. Uh, of so. Course. So then, you, like, let's compare it, though, to a uh, chest of crystals, uh, okay. the, the $20 one. So right. let's say t- $10 worth of that chest, mm-hmm. uh, just straight up math, 1400 Right. So you're still out ahead because you're getting 1475 I think it was. Yeah, 1475 yeah. So still a better deal. It, so if, you have, if you're in that price range and you are intent on buying crystals... Uh, not not a bad deal, I guess. Right. Assuming you're not in a rush for them. Because yeah. you're going to get them over the course of 30 days. Yeah. It's right. Fun. If you're not in that price point and you wanted to spend more. Yeah. So so if you have $100 to spend and you broke... Mm-hmm. So, you, you, uh, so you, you bought a vault and you broke every... Te- uh, you broke it into 10 pieces after that. 10 pieces mm-hmm. of the vault. You end up with... 1571 in each stack. So right. 1571 for $10. For te- for a $10 chunk, chunk of the of the vault stack. Mhm. Um 1475. So essentially for $10 worth of a vault, you get you get 100 more crystals per $10. Right. Not, so, not, that, not that everyone has a hundred dollars to spend on a vault, right? But th- this isn't a good deal compared to what you get for a vault, right? If you're comparing just the cost of crystals alone, like per crystal for the for the best um, return, mm-hmm. you're gonna want the vault. Yeah. So, 
and, and that being said, I think if you're mm -hmm. going to spend $10 on this game, I, I typically, like, if you need crystals, you need crystals, and I, I get that. But uh, mm -hmm. crystals don't have that much bang for their buck in g general in this game. I think, uh, you know, we and we were going to evaluate this anyways last time, or this time, but then we wanted to do the crate for fun. Um, right. You know, uh, oh, it just must be gone here. But, um, yeah, the relic. Where'd it go? Oh, it, it was just we ran out of time is what ah. happened. It, it timed out. But, but like, the, the relic, uh, the $10 relic kit. Is, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that That was pretty good. This, um, actually, bang for its buck, I've done the, I've done the price evaluation. It's actually, um, so the calendars are actually really great deals. The, um... The Slicer Toolkit calendars are really great deals. We're, we're not going to get into the math of that right now, guys. But mm -hmm. um, there are better things to spend $10 on in this game than just the, than this than crystals, frankly. I, right. I, would, I would spend $10 on almost anything. Most of these packs are better deals than this crystal box, in my opinion. Yeah, I would agree. Not uh, so, so you say... Is this a thumbs up from you? A thumbs down? What What do you What do you think? Or like overall, if you just you, you have to give just totally arbitrary thumbs up or thumbs down. I guess if you really wanted to be crazy, you could do two thumbs up, two thumbs down, but don't like sideways weird like compromise crap, please. I was gonna say it. You're gonna make me make a decision. Yeah, like let's get confrontational a little bit here. I would go towards the thumbs down towards like slanted toward or <laughs> yeah like i'm i'm leaning towards it, it's a thumbs down okay you're gonna make it you're gonna make the pick it's yes. a thumbs down oh uh, yeah get, don't deny your roots sarah <laughs> Oh, good, good. Oh man, but thumbs yeah. down from me as well. I, I don't. This is this is reminiscent of the old crystal pack that we had four years ago. It is not nearly as good of a deal, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. So skip it. Right now, skip it. Skip it for the next three days. Skip, yeah. skip it. Good. All right, Sarah. So the very last segment in mm -hmm. our discussion here uh, on, on my segment is going to be we're just going to talk about a couple user viewer questions here uh, mm -hmm. that people had and then we'll answer the rest on your side and then we'll go into the roster roast and everything on, on your side. Does that sound good? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Let's so what's, what's the question then? All right. Um, so I'm going to say this wrong. You've got to say this name. You know how to say it. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Viewer question from Mama Naden, who is a guy from that's actually in the lore from the Moss Eisley Cantina episode four. He's the he's an Ithorian. He's a guy who actually uh, he's the same species as the guy who's the mayor in the book of Boba Fett. Okay. Okay. So I'm he's have to he's a look very. For him. Extremely minor character. He's just like in in that big panorama shot of all the different randoms that, that mm -hmm. are in the cantina. He's I know because I used to play the Star Wars card game, the SWCCG, and they, they had that. He was a a character in it. So, um, so the I guess the question is, do you think it's possible we see a new dark side territory battle? But mm -hmm. light side territory battle hangs around for a while, given no one can finish it. No. Oh, good answer thank you for your response <laughs> your opinion is valuable to us <laughs> yeah. um okay so this this is my thought and and i know okay it, it logically makes sense to release a new dark side territory battle first because we've had dark side geo longer than we've had light side geo um, so it makes sense logically to, to refresh that, uh, that alignment first. They did in the past reverse it where we had Hoth dark side release second, and then we got Hoth geo or sorry, dark side geo first. Um, which doesn't mean that they will do it again that way. I'm just pointing it out for argument's sake, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm more concerned about 
if we got a new dark side territory battle, and this isn't necessarily a concern really, but I I don't see it lasting a considerable amount of time while light side territory battle stays in geo and just hangs out there, letting us mm -hmm. collect more points. And honestly, we're still not going to be able to finish it. They're not going to give us anything that will realistically help us finish it. But ships are the problem here. And I don't think they care. Yeah, I, I don't think they care. I, like, they'll create new content when they think people are, gonna, are ready to consume it. And right. territory battles, I mean, they, they could easily just say, oh, hey, like... Not that I want this, but Relic 10 is here, and you can only get it in territory battles, and here's the new light side one, or something. Right. That should be awful. Let's not do that. Don't, don't, don't wish that into existence. No. Uh, okay, so, what, like, ship mods are here, and... No, I, no, I, no. I will totally wish that into existence. We could talk about that a different time. Oh, boy. Ship mods. It's, <laughs> it, it's a thing that needs to happen, in my opinion. But oh boy, yeah. So I think I think we may see a new dark side territory battle. But but yeah, like light side territory battle won't hang out for that long. If like it, the second they announce a dark side or light side territory battle coming out, it implies that they're working or at least have scheduled to work on the other mm -hmm. light side or the other side of that territory battle like they're not gonna right it, it implies that geonosia or geonosis is no longer the premier territory battle right exactly you will get one followed by the other within i would say six months yeah most likely that that would be my guess so yeah, yeah i'm okay with that honestly i, I don't need the bling that that says you know the gold star. Congratulations, you you completed this this arbitrary thing. Right, I like, I want that. Like, we finally gave you enough ships to complete this. Like it's more of a gold star to CG actually. Like we finally mm -hmm. allowed you to complete this content. All right, guys. So that's that's it for viewer questions uh, on this side. There's two more that are going to be answered on Sarah's side. Sarah, do you have anything awesome to say before we sign off and go over to your side? Come over to my side. I have cookies. They're gluten-free. So. <laughs> I was about to say, you don't want to try her cookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, go. Uh, video, yeah. video description, or there should be a little pop-up pretty soon. Maybe it's already blocking Sarah's face. And uh, click on that and go see, the, uh, go see us on Sarah's channel. And hit that sub button before you, you watch even one second of the video. <laughs> All right, guys, see you in a minute.